how beautiful is this dried flower epoxy resin clock uh, what i did was i started off by just drying out the flowers in a box of silica for about a week um, then we pressed it down uh, in a magazine uh, until it was nice and flat uh, mixed resin and hardener in a 3 to 1 ratio make sure to get this right stir and stir then pour it into a nice silica mold of your choice um, use a butane torch to remove all the bubbles then start immersing the dried flowers in the resin one by one uh, you can use a variety of different flowers uh, like bougainvilleas, hydrangeas, uh, baby's breath, uh, some nice wildflowers, status. Now add another thin layer of resin to set the flowers. Uh, next some pigment in with the resin again uh, in an S shape. Now add the last thin layer of resin to fill up the mold completely. And uh, what I like to do is uh, take the straw and do a little bit of fluid art uh, with that acrylic paint that we just used. We, you can add a few colors, you can add some metallic shades. Uh, it looks really, really beautiful. Now let it dry for 48 hours and voila, that's what you have. Um, do this part, save with this part because this is my favorite part. Uh, actually removing the mold, uh, it's so thrilling. Um, if you want to make it a clock, just add your numerical numbers and your clock mechanism. And there you have it. It's so, so beautiful. It's all handmade and you never have two pieces that look the same.